Hi, I'm Matt Ward. I'm the uh, Motor Mesh Solo Product Manager, and uh, I'm actually joined here today by uh, Bill Rubino, who is the uh, Motor Mesh Duo Product Manager. And um, Bill, what I thought we'd do today is uh, talk a little bit about um, mobility. You know, how to bid mobility. We're seeing uh, a lot of RFPs, um, a lot of customers, actually a lot of internal motor rollers um, sending us a lot of questions about, you know, when is right to bid duo and when is right to bid uh, solo. So, you know, so throw it over to you. And so what are your thoughts about, you know, when duo be a good style to, to, to bid yep, mobility? Yep. So what we're seeing, as you know, with all the RFPs in the street is, uh, you know, there's, there's a move towards having some type of standards-based mobility yeah. solution as well as mm -hmm. our existing product line with Absolutely. Motor Mesh Solo. Um, what we've recently done is we've introduced uh, a, a mobility, mobility solution based off of the Motor Mesh Duo, which supports uh, 5.8 standard uh, Wi-Fi radio, right. uh, 5.4 for the European and mm -hmm. Latin American markets, okay. um, and we also support uh, the 4.9 uh, band for public safety as well. So how, how is that package? Do we, are we putting that in a special enclosure or are we actually purpose building something for vehicles? That's a, that's a good question. What, what we've actually taken is we've actually taken the Motor Mesh Duo enclosure itself oh, okay. and when somebody buys it, uh, you can actually, it actually will come with a mounting plate that you could put in the back of a vehicle's trunk oh, right. or okay. on a train system mm -hmm. or something like that. And then there are also external antennas that you can use to mount on top of a vehicle or mount on top of a train as well. Okay. But it's basically built off of uh, the design of the Duo, but it supports mobility in, in some, some uh, medium, slow to medium type of environments. So you know, where do you think your, your target markets are? And obviously, you know, let's relate this back to how uh, our motor oil sales force and also our VARs can, can go out and position and sell this. Because bear in mind, we still have solo in the mix yes, here as well. Yes, so. yeah. So, so the, the tricky thing here is to try to understand where you want to position yeah. the solo mobility solution versus where you want to position the duo mobility solution. With duo, it really is a lot of applications that are, some of them are stationary, mm -hmm. where a police vehicle may pull into a parking lot and then download in information. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. Or for a train system, if you will, they may pull up into a station and then offload some information or download some information that may either be some video that they already have stored on a DVR type system mm -hmm. or just might be some train information. In terms of solo, it's a different story and so how would you think you would you'd position that? Yeah, so obviously transportation is an interesting one because solo has moved uh, yeah, we're still in public safety, so we have a really good presence in public safety with high-speed mobility, um, data on the move, but we've been able to make that transition to um, accommodate different verticals. Mm -hmm. So I think transportation is a really good example that you make there, and I think the, the duo story and the solo story both fit within yeah. that vertical. Yeah. But you know, the physical solo product, I think we'd look for more of the, the train uh, control you know, more of the mission critical aspect of a train or a metro system to use solo. So why would we do that? Well, um, environment, you know, yeah. that's a big key player here. Mm -hmm. We need some inf interference mitigation and that's what the, the solo was built around. It was, yep. you know, for the harsher environments. So, you know, and typically, train uh, transmission control doesn't need a huge amount of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So actually, you know, whereas you're saying with Duo, we've got video, we've got very, um, low speed mobility, yeah. we can actually use the higher mobility that's maybe you know, track wide in transportation yeah. to actually you know, use our solo, solo yeah. product line. So the good thing about this is with the combination of this, this overall motor mass solution here with solo we have things for high speed mission critical applications yeah, and with Duo, we have something for low to medium speeds for something that's not as mission critical and uh, for, for maybe uh, low to stationary type of applications. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, you know, I, we've got the product set and I yeah. think what everyone needs to look at, as we always say to everybody, is, you know, take your application but then also match it to your environment. Yep. And I think your product choice at that point will, you know, will, will come yep. um, quite easily. Yep. Um, but uh, I think, you know, if there are folks out there that, that want to talk to us more about it, they can yep. look at our website, which you know, yep. is the motorola.com forward slash mesh, or they can contact us here at the Mesh Network Product Group.